the title of the, the exhibit is Faces of Freedom Summer, 1964, the photographs of Herbert Randall. This show uh, represents a very pivotal time in Mississippi's history. Um, the, this uh, body of photographs that were printed from over uh, around 1700 to 1800 negatives that Herbert Randall um, donated to USM in 1998. Um, and so these, there's about 100 photographs in this show and they tell the story, help tell the story of uh, Freedom Summer from 1964, which was a, a very um, important time in Mississippi when civil rights activists uh, came from all over the country um, to help register Mississippians to vote, African Americans in Mississippi um, to vote. Well, Herbert Randall, um, he's a photographer um, of African and Native American descent uh, from New York. Um, in 1964, he had received the John Hay Whitney uh, Fellowship for Creative Photography and he had befriended Sandy Lee, who was the field secretary and the director of the SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Um, and Sandy asked him if he would come to Hattiesburg to be the official photographer of the Freedom, Freedom Summer Project in Mississippi, and he agreed. He actually used his fellowship funds to come to Hattiesburg to photograph um, the Freedom Summer events in 1964. For this show specifically, we've had this collection since 2001. It was actually organized as a traveling exhibition um, by uh, coordination between Bob Tusa, who was a USM archivist um, in 2001, um, and the museum director at the time. This show has somewhat of a chronological organization to it, but at the same time, when you're laying out a show, you're thinking about how the show works visually as a whole, um, how the viewer is going to circulate through the exhibition, um, how they're going to interact with, with, the, um, with the works of art or the photographs. These are more photojournalistic type works um, and then what they're going to bring from the show. The content for the labels in this exhibition were actually written by Bob Tusa, who was the original organizer of the exhibition. There was also, there was also coordination um, with Matt Casey and Rebecca Turi. Uh, Matt Casey is the director of the School of Humanities um, and Rebecca Turi is in the Honors College and uh, works with the Center for the Study of the Gulf South. Um, and we have been, we worked a little bit in collaboration with them and they've organized um, a lecture with Dr. Anthony Harris, who was, he was born in Hattiesburg. He's an author, um, he's written many books on civil rights we hope that people come out to see the exhibition. It's a great opportunity to gain some insight into uh, this important period in Mississippi history.